Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, you are watching baby Noah today. I'm gonna get him dressed and give him a bottle and just chat with you guys. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you do subscribe at this time and also make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, also if you want to join the chatterbox, the membership fee is $1.99 a month. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older. And um, also, you can also get your merch, um, which is in, the link is also in the description box or you'll see the boxes running underneath the video. Um, but yeah. Oh, um... I am working on quite a bit of different projects, guys. I'm really excited about them. Um, I think, what am I gonna, I'm gonna take this off first. Oh, he's been in it so long. I just love him in this. Him and Nigel both look really well in this. I never even feel this button is up, I guess, in the back. But, um, I don't know, for me, Sometimes, you know, I just like the babies and stuff and I just keep them in there for a while. And that's the thing when you have more than one baby, it's kind of good because you don't, um, you don't just keep changing the same baby and over, over again, you can rotate. Um, I know I'm saying, um, a lot, but even if you do have one baby you know sometimes you can just take little breaks in between you know just trying to not put too much wear on the babies although you know a lot of these babies will hold up throughout all the changing and dressing and all that stuff and he's kind of the opposite of the way I would normally do my babies I think I'm gonna turn them around um But it's nice if you do have, you know, un, you know, two or three babies that you can rotate in between when changing, you know, changing their little clothes and stuff like that. My personal collection isn't that big. Um, being that I do tend to have a particular taste in babies and sometimes they, they can get a little pricey. So I don't have as many babies. Um, that's number one because I can't have a whole lot at the prices that these uh, dolls tend to cost a lot of times. And then the other reason why is I don't want a cluttered nursery. Like I'm already like trying to figure out like what you know where what baby's gonna go because I got some kits that I've been holding for me for you know just to paint for myself for my personal collection and I'm sitting here going like okay now what what am I gonna do you know with with uh this baby when when I finish it or what I'm gonna do with that one um so I don't like a very cluttered um, room of babies and stuff like that. In fact, I'm right now in the midst of organi organizing a lot of my stuff. Um, I just worked on my diaper collection. I'm doing blankets um, today and probably throughout the weekend. Well, blankets and then I'll do clothes. So I'll do my blankets today or and then clothes. Stuff like that, I'm going to get rid of a lot of stuff. I tend to, when I go to extra, uh, exercising, organizing, I tend to start purging stuff. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give him his his bottle. Now, Noah is the Willow Sculpt. He's the Willow Asleep prototype number two by Claire Tellum. And he actually... He actually do have a drink and wet. Um, I actually 
enjoy the fact of being able to do the formula oh yeah this is his new little bottle i just love it love 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 this bottle wait wait let me make sure oh sorry baby i didn't i hadn't tested it out okay we good i thought i felt something i'm like did i feel something okay but yeah, I love this bottle. I saw this bottle and I was like, oh, I gotta have it. Gotta have it. It is so cute. So it's like a five ounce bottle. And, um, but yeah. So I sealed it up. And I am going to give him a bottle. But yeah, um, about to, back to the drinking wet. You know, I know a lot... At first, it was like, no, we don't, we don't want drinking wets. We don't want drinking wets. We don't want drinking wets. Then it was, okay, yeah, we want drinking wets. Especially when we used to do the role play video. And you remember the poop videos was a big hit back in the day. Everybody wanted to do poop videos. I didn't really get too much into that. But, you know, like everybody else, I did a few to appease the crowd. But, um... But yeah, you, so you, you, um, you know, the drinking wet was nice, but now when you do videos, you can't, you can't show the, um, you can't show the, uh, diaper area too much and stuff like that. So, you know, sometimes they don't flag it, sometimes they do. So it's like, well, it kind of defeats the purpose of the drink and wet it's not. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. Every now and then, like I said, when you give it a warm bottle and you're actually here, like, role playing and feeding them and the water comes down and it's warm, it feels like you really got a real, real baby for real in your lap. I mean, it does add realism for sure when it comes to that part. But I also prefer the fact that I can actually give the baby formula. I mean, we do tend to give real babies water in bottles occasionally, but come on, most of the time, you know, you want to give them, the milk just looks more realistic, giving them a milk bottle type thing. So I honestly can do without the, um, do without the drinking wet at this point. Like I said, everybody, you know, it's easy for me to say that when I have two babies in here that has a drinking wet. And I know that everybody, you know, we like to experience something at least once. So I can't knock anybody for wanting to have their go at it too. But if you have to choose between, you know, features or should you spend the extra money, I can tell you right now, nine times out of ten, you're barely ever going to use the drinking wet. Um, the other thing... The thing, the one thing that I prefer over the drinking wet is armatures. I would take armatures all day over a drinking wet. I feel like the dolls, a lot of times with the way that the arms are sculpted and stuff like that, I feel like they really, you know, can use the the actual drinking wet. I mean, not drinking wet. Sorry, the armatures. Um. Another thing someone, people have been asking me too, is how you care for these babies and like the silicone babies versus the reborns. Oh my gosh. Um, to be honest, I feel like a lot of people like over exaggerate like um, maintaining a silicone baby versus a vinyl baby. Um, the biggest difference with, vi with silicone and vinyl as far as the care and maintenance upkeep, to me, it's gonna be the fact that the the silicone is soft and you can't just lay it on anything and you, you don't want to pull on it carelessly. You know, every now and then with a vinyl, you might handle it a little more rough or crazy or something like that and you're perfectly okay you may not be okay depending on you know what you're doing with your silicone because 
the thing about vinyl kits is like, oh, if you pull the arm off, you know, and it comes out of the body, the socket of the body, the cloth body, oh, just get a zip tie and put it back. You pull the arm off your silicone, you're in trouble. That's it. You ruined your doll. Um, you know, some artists might put it back on for you, so I might not, but still, you still just devalue your doll. So that's the biggest thing, but I mean, they are really durable as much as they may look like they're not, um, you know, because of we are being like super careful and we're a lot of times the way we handle them has more to do with the fact that we don't want them to come across looking not realistic. And so, um, his, his little wobbly head, like I said, I think his head wobbles more than, than Noah's. So, I mean, Nigel's, I always mix their little names up. But, yeah, so, but other than that, like, people be like, oh, like, he, the because of the way he's mad at, like, you might see me pick a piece of hair off or something, but I'll do that on my vinyls as well. But the thing is, is that you really, like, Noah's had a bath, I think, maybe twice, and that was like a rinse off. Since I've had him, I've had him a year now. And I don't know. I just, it's been probably, and I did that when I first got him. So he hasn't been rinsed off in maybe six, eight months. And he's fine. I mean, I, I would love to. I probably will rinse him off eventually again, but he really doesn't have much on him. Um, I think the babies collect a lot of dust when you just let them sit. I'm going to try to get him, up, pick him up for you guys. So, like, if you see him, like, he's not, he's not dusty or anything like that. He's just regular. Like, you know, it's not like they're real babies. Like, you got to you know, take them to doctor visits or anything like that. I mean, if you want to let them sit, you let them sit. If you want to rinse them off, a lot of the rinsing off is more for us, not so much that the doll and the dolls need it, if we be truthful. Um, which is why, like I said, I haven't really did anything. I did a, um, and the only reason I did it in the beginning was mostly because I always like to do the bathing video because people like to see the bathing videos. Just like Nigel, he's been in the water once. Um, he probably won't go in there no time soon. Maybe next year, maybe not. You know what I mean? It just depends. Um, Sometimes you use the wrong thing, like a really, really fuzzy blanket. And then they get these fuzzies on them that's hard to try to get that lint off. And you want to just rinse them. Now, I know this diaper is extremely big for him but I really like the print and I wanted to put it on him anyway it is more so for I think to try to see if it's if my toddler fits it <laughs> but you know what it's not like he's gonna have an accident or anything it's gonna come out his diaper so he is going to wear this freaking diaper I don't care what so, there we go. Yeah, so it's, it's like anything goes. Now, Reborns, you know, like if they get a little dusty, you take a little paintbrush, you brush in their little eyes and stuff like that. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's easy. He's going to wear his little shirt that Cree bought him. I'm going to find him some khakis or some jean shorts to put on um, after the video, maybe later down the road. But for right now, he's just going to wear a shirt and diaper. Okay? He's just going to wear a, short, a shirt and diaper, which is summertime. It's hot. A lot of times, even when the babies do get fully dressed, after a couple diaper changes, we get tired of putting the shorts back on. Well, I did when, when I had my real kids and they weren't going anywhere. Nobody wasn't coming over to visit them. And they would be just in their shirt and a diaper. Um, 
you know, how many times you see even the kids that's walking, the one-year-olds and two-year-olds, they're running around with their little cute little diapers on, saggy butts, and their little, um, little night shirts or little shirts, t-shirts, and, 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 and mama not worried about it. And so I like my babies to be as comfortable and look as realistic as real babies. So I don't do the whole extra shebang bang with my babies. Every now and then it's like, oh, let me dress them up type thing. And I'm very cheap, so I don't spend a whole lot on their clothes. I don't buy as many clothes for them every now and then when I'm going to shop for a box opening I might pick up something for one of the babies but usually you know they're just this is just their their norm but um oh this in this color looks so good on him I'll take some pictures, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, also, guys, follow me on Instagram. Make sure you look out. I am going to have, I don't want to call it a boo-boo baby, but it's not my typical work. So instead of it being like $800, I'm going to price it at somewhere around $475 um, shipped. So I will have um, Dallas by Don McLeod um, available. Um, she will have rooted eyelashes. She will have, she will be sealed, you know, with texture. She will have eyelashes and she will come with, you know, she will be wrapped in a blanket with, um, and diapers. Um, of course, she'll have on an outfit. Um, but that's about the extent of it. She will have her COA. And, um, yeah. So, if you're looking for a inexpensive baby, ball baby, if you want to get it rooted, you can contact It's Mario on Instagram. See what spots she have available. She's pretty good at, you know, um, rooting the babies. So, um, if you want to do that, that will be totally up to you and between you and your person that you decide to root or if you root yourself, whatever floats your boat, but she will be sold as a ball baby and that's that. And like I said, her price will be like $4.75. She is an African-American doll. So, um, I'm almost finished with her as far as to a point where I can seal her. Once I seal her, get her gloss, get her eyelashes in, I think it'll be better for me to post her with price then. Until then, I just kind of showed like her limbs, give you an idea what color her limbs are, and then her, you know, so our face, stuff like that. You may see little pictures of her, but that's, that's that. Um, yeah. So, um, that's that. I'm finishing up some customs and... Just enjoy my hobby. I don't know. I'm enjoying painting and all that great jazz. I'll let everybody know when I can take some more spots for customs. Um, cuddle babies. Right now, all my spots are filled with cuddle babies, other babies, everything. I'm filled up, so I can't accept any more orders. If um, you haven't secured your spot with me, then um, you'll have to catch the next round. But if I, there's, I know, yeah. So anyway, that's how it works. I am trying this out because I just want to try to, to um, you know, a lot of people have, have been asking me and asking me. So now I'm trying it. I'm trying it again and it's it hasn't been bad so far. So I just as long as I can stay on schedule and not have no mommy waiting 20 years for the baby, I'm I'm okay with doing it. As long as I feel like it's not that much pressure while I'm painting them and they're still coming out really nice, um, then that's no problem. If I feel like my work is starting to slack or something like that, then that's when I'll stop. Because the main thing is that the customer needs to get quality work and get my best, 
You know what I mean? So, that's the main thing. All right, Shook Boop. Talk to you guys later.